so, so now, now you can dispose of your catheter. Dispose of my catheter. I have to keep my sterile hand sterile so I'm not touching anything that I, I'm going to drop it in the garbage. There, there it goes. Yeah, back. Right. And your, uh, do you want your suction off or it's not necessary? Oh yeah, let me turn that off. Okay. And now we um, pick, up. pick up the plastic face plate. Because this is not sterile here. Correct. The part that remains outside of their throat is not sterile. Right. So you're picking that up with your clean hand. And then I'm going to kind of swish it around in the bath, in the half-strength peroxide bath. Go in with my, go in with my brush, give it a nice clean up, throw that away, go again and try to clean off anything on here. All right. And now I need to rinse off the half strength solution in the bath of just saline. And then I'm going to tap it to get off the excess, pick up one of my four by fours and wipe it dry from the clean end to the dirty end. on that. Check that out in lab. Let me take a look at our instructions and see and where I'm, we are. I no longer need to be sterile. Right. So now I'm going to clean uh, around the face plate. Right. And this is where your Q-tips come in. And you can go into your saline and wipe underneath. I'm going to zero in on what you've got going on there. Just remove the dressing. She's cleaning gently with her her swab. Now, if there's a lot of gunk around there, which sometimes is the case, you can, uh, you can go in the saline and you can actually clean with the four by four. Okay, so next I'm going to change the trach type. And you need to go in. You don't want to remove the old trach tie until you have the new trach tie secured. Definitely. So I am going to, actually, I'm going to tie it on this side next, so I'm going to go in on this side. This is the tricky part. Okay, until you're halfway, and then you'll have the patient sit up, or in this case, I'm going to go around my patient. Some people use the um, handle end of the cotton swab if their fingers don't allow them to push that corner or that end of the thing through very well, just as a tip. Wonderful. Do you feel uh, that it's easier to breathe? Yes, I love all these students. It's easier to breathe when there are students around. Oh, yes, it is. I agree. And your pulse ox is up to 96. See so what I mean? This was effective tracheal suctioning. So this concludes our demonstration of 
tracheal suctioning. And, um, and bye bye. <laughs> of course, um, I'm sure your students would probably leave the room by um, washing their hands, right? Yes, they after would... we clean up our supplies, we would um, obviously throw everything away first before we take off our gloves for hand hygiene. Ask the patient, is there anything else I can do for you because I have the time? And put the bed down to the lowest height. I didn't raise it up. It was comfortable for me from where I was. Maybe put the head of the bed down, keep her up, ask her wherever she's comfortable. And then I'm going to go back to the nursing station and document my uh, nursing intervention. Thank you.